I'm chasing the day Trump cheated death. This happened on October 10th, 1989. Three of his top executives were on a helicopter that crashed in a wooded area along the Garden State Parkway. All three died. One of them was Stephen Hyde. He was a top executive in the Trump casino empire. Mark Edis, who was instrumental in building Trump Atlantic City, which was the capital of boxing on the East Coast and Jonathan Bananov, an up and coming hotel executive. So I chased this to Marlton, New Jersey, where I spoke to James Rutherford, the co-author of the book Trumped, exclamation point. He wrote it with John O'Donnell, also known as Jack. Jack was a former Trump executive. So when I spoke to James Rutherford about this crash, uh, he said that it couldn't have happened at a worse time in the Trump empire. At the time, Trump casinos were the cash cow of the Trump empire. Trump Plaza was huge, making a lot of money for Donald Trump at the time. And the three executives who ended up dying on that plane crash were the masterminds of Trump's Atlantic City casinos. There was a critical time in his organization. He needed the Atlantic City casinos to work more than ever. Mm -hmm. He had to make the Taj work. Uh, the economy, as I said, was starting to slide. He needed those casinos to produce cash for him. There were a bunch of strange events that led to this crash. The Trump Organization had a fleet of helicopters. Donald himself only flew on a particular type of helicopter, his own. A private helicopter, Super Puma, was, was the type of helicopter. And whenever he had to move his executives around, they usually flew on a Trump helicopter. But for right. some reason, they chartered a helicopter, and that's the one that crashed. The blades fractured, uh, the main rotor, and flew off and um, the helicopter went straight down. And it, so we think it's a mechanical. It was yeah. mechanical. James was also telling me that Trump also shed a tear, which is not something that you see normally publicly from Donald Trump. Stephen Hyde, the executive who died, was very big in Trump's empire. He was the real mastermind of the casinos. Stephen Hyde had a viewing in Atlantic City and thousands of people were there. Donald's standing alone at the casket and looking at the picture of Stephen Hyde. And Jack said, he was certain that he saw a tear in, in Donald's eyes as he was standing there alone. But then he said like that, he turned around and he, you know, he was on again. It's interesting to see this side of Donald Trump, the humble, uh, fearful side I, I of think our the potential tear president. Is, is really the lead of that story. The fact that he had that moment that people saw. It was actually sold for $75,000. The tear, yes.